all right so before i go to the roof beam layout uh, i want to quickly explain foundation height and then the story height you can see if you come to your column detail here you can see now from here now this is actually uh the foundation where i cycled right now is actually our foundation level so this is the german floor uh, as it's called, being called um, if i move this a bit so whatever that you see around this cycle is our foundation level okay that's our foundation this is uh, this is the part uh, this is the base of this part okay this is the base here and then uh, you have uh, the blinding here which is 50 mm and then the depth of this foundation is actually 1500 you can see where i'm pointing at it's starting from here where you have the german floor down to uh, the base here down here and then the story height now is starting from here from this point now to this point okay this is the entire story height okay but around here is your headroom okay where you are having this deck in here is the this is the headroom okay sorry so that's the headroom okay um sorry this drawing is not drawn to scale so this is as so this is the foundation this is the ground floor and then this is actually your first floor you can see here you are having the roof beam this one is coming in form of a t showing you that this one is actually the slab with a continuous symbol here showing you that this actually continuous okay so that is that so uh going forward um i'm going to show you uh the roof beam layout okay So, um, I was explaining the other time that your roof beam and your normal slab and beam layout, the arrangements are mostly alike, okay? Um, and then your roof beam uh, is gotten from uh, the, the topmost floor, whatever floor that you have at the top there, okay? You just do the arrangement. You can see this one is actually shops and then everything here both the ground floor and the first floor are a bit are actually similar so we are having everything continuous from the ground from the foundation up to the first floor level so that is why our roof beam is going to be a bit more similar looking more like in terms of the arrangement like that of uh, our uh, floor beam but the only difference here we are going to be having is that this one is actually 230 by 450 size by 300 size of uh, beam okay that is actually mostly from your design okay whatever that you have designed whatever the uh, design has given you the cross section if the cross section has passed and all but uh, in most cases you are going to be having it uh, as 230 by 300 is very very common to have this uh, cross section 230 by 300 most especially when the span is actually not very large so by the time you are having it within a span of uh, the range of 5.5 uh, uh, meters is still within the range okay but like I said I always like to refer you back to some of uh, these books that will actually help you to understand designs better reinforced concrete design by Victoria Inuga or you can actually go for mostly and Bungi. Uh, some of these books will have actually give you deeper insight okay but if you are in Africa I will encourage you please lay your hands on simplified reinforced concrete design by Victoria Inuga 
okay so this uh, roof beam all you need to do is just to uh, put in because this roof beam all the cross section are actually the same there's nothing unique about it the reinforcement we are providing are actually similar and then the cross section are actually similar so they have the same type of reinforcement the same depth of cross section so all of them are actually uh, very much uh, the same so there's no need of we giving a special name to any of this beam okay because this is actually basically going to be carrying only the roof load okay so but we have different type of uh, roof load okay there are roof that are actually uh, it could be decked it could be uh, timber roof and whatever kind of uh, roof your design will actually tell you what to actually provide in in uh, in your detailing so whatever you are using in your detailing is based on what the design has actually given you so you can see all our roof beam the cross section is actually uh, similar so there is no need for us giving them any specific name okay so all of them are going to be roof beam 230 by 300 based on what we have gotten in our design okay so we have done this in the design and it has passed very well so all i need to do is just to uh, take out the cross section of this beam if i take out the cross section of this beam all i need all i'm going to be having right now is if i want to draw this manually if i draw this 230 by 230 for example Okay, and then I have my concrete cover let's say it's 25 if I offset this inside now 25 so by the time I take out that cross section at the roof level if I take my donut here now you know I'm not having a slab at the roof level so uh, so it's going to actually look much more like this okay uh, but I can actually make this donut a little bit more bigger than Having here, So, in the case where I'm having 4Y16, um, this is actually my links. Okay. So, this is it. As simple as that. So, the cross section of this beam will most likely look like this. Uh, and then I can scale this make it look bigger and then, um, but you can see I have oh sorry sorry this is 230 by 300 uh, that was a very big mistake I need uh, this is uh oh sorry I forgot that I've rescaled it take it back to its original scale make this one 300 that's the depth of uh, this 14 is 300 so it's going to look like this just to take this down okay it's going to look more like this so this is the cross section it's going to look more like this and then 
Um, can I use leader? Then you can type uh, Y10. small this this has to do with uh, detailing okay so <laughs> you can all right the next thing I can do here is just to I can as well explode it anyway So if my links is Y10, for example, based on my design, I can just specify Y10 as my links. And then here I'm having 4Y16, yeah. So you can just type in leader here. Take this out. text for y16 okay explode much purpose so all right so it's going to look more like this sorry i don't really have much time i want to make this video as brief as possible okay but this is how it's going to look like more like this i have a sample of that already so all you need to do is just to type in and all that and specify the number of reinforcement specify the thickness of the reinforcement the links and all that so you can change the thickness here and all that this is just has to do with the detailing itself okay just to beautify your design and makes it look uh, much more better and more presentable uh, there are cases where you have um, what we call the uh, the concrete fascia okay uh, in a case where you have the concrete fascia you have to generate a detailing for that uh, fascia you can see this is actually the concrete fascia here this is the beam here that is carrying this fascia this fascia is from the cross section of the architectural drawing so whatever the architect has given you based on the cross section on that uh, drawing okay you are going to see this cross section based on this shape that you see all you need to do is just to provide do your reinforcement uh, work on it okay uh, I'm going to be showing you that on the next uh, video okay